here's my tip. Hi gamers, it's QuirkyPixel. On this channel I share tips, tutorials and everything about the world of Animal Crossing, especially New Horizons. If you love Animal Crossing then hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week. I also live stream on Twitch, we're playing a lot of Animal Crossing at the moment, so if you want to come and hang out in an Animal Crossing stream and just talk about Animal Crossing then feel free. So today I'm going to give you guys some beginner tips and tricks for getting started in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So most of you have already played through and you've done the main beginning part of the game, you've done the tutorial, you've chose your island. So we're going to go through tips that you can take in day to day and use to further develop your island. <laughs> okay so the first tip is bugs and fish are seasonal and they also appear at different times of the day. Some of you have probably already realized this, some of you might have not, but the whole idea is that you try and catch bugs and fish at different times of the day. Try and catch some in the morning, try and look for bugs and stuff around flowers, check in different parts of the ocean, the rivers, the ponds. Bugs and fish appear in different places at different times of the day, during different weather, during different seasons. So if you want to complete your museum you're gonna have to look pretty much everywhere for your bugs and your fish. My next tip is to donate every single fish, bug and fossil that you first collect. As soon as you catch your very first common butterfly for example, donate that one because you're gonna forget later which ones you've donated. It's gonna be less of a hassle to go through your insectopedia later to check which ones have been donated and which ones have not and it's just easier to, to donate the first one you catch and then if you catch that again then that's an item you can keep for yourself or you can sell for more bells. My next tip is to collect everything. Every single thing you can pick up in the game, you can fish in the game, you can catch with your bug net. Collect everything. Even the junk can sometimes be used for crafting recipes. I've caught some junk in the past while fishing and then it's told me that this is a recipe so if I get another one of that item I can use those to craft with it. You want to collect everything because you can sell things, you can use different things for crafting and if you want to take some time to actually like pick up all your weeds and sell them and use them for like crafting recipes just take advantage of all the items items that you can collect in game. And leading from this my next tip is to sell all your shells, sell your fruit, your extra bugs, fish, fossils to make more bells. Here's my tip. So if you see a glowing spot in the ground you're going to want to dig into that hole because there's a bag of money in there and then you can then get some money from your inventory and bury it in that hole and a money tree may grow. So you usually get like one of these glowing spots on your island pretty much every day. I've been getting one pretty much every single day and burying a 10k bag of bells. Sometimes they turn into money trees, sometimes they don't but when when you do have a money tree it will then give you uh, three bags of bells I think about a thousand bells depending on how much you've planted I think there's also a limit on how much you can plant in the ground so don't waste all your money on this but then you've got that money tree which is continuously going to grow more bells it's quite cool isn't it? Next is your Nook Miles. Guys if you have enough Nook Miles for a Nook Miles ticket this is for the island tours. You're gonna want to go to the, the ATM machine get a Nook Miles ticket for 2000 Nook Miles and then you're going to go to the airport and take some island tours. Even though the island tours are quite expensive they give you an advantage of being able to go to different islands which have different things than your island. Next is when you're on these islands please don't drop or leave any anything on the island unless you don't need it anymore but if you accidentally leave say a tool on that island it's gone forever you can't get it back as soon as you leave that island you're never going to be able to go to that island again because the islands are randomly generated so you won't be able to return to the same island again so make sure you take all of your valuables and your belongings and you take them home with you also before going to this island you want to make sure you have enough inventory space make sure you got your tools but also make sure you've got enough inventory space so all the items you can collect you can bring home and on these islands there's a lot of different things you can collect you can maybe possibly find fruit that isn't on your island you can find the coconut trees and you can 
harvest these coconuts and plant them on your own island. You can find bamboo, there's bugs and fish, there's sometimes villagers that you can invite to your own island and there's also a bunch of rocks usually for more resources if you are running low on any of your ores. My next tip is to keep a slingshot handy so that whenever you see a floating present in the sky because they do randomly fly over your actual island, your main island, the one you live on, you will see them fly over your island and you're going to want to shoot them down but you're going to want to be careful where you shoot them down because they can one, drop into the uh, water like a river, a pond, the ocean and they will be gone forever. Mine have dropped into weeds or I think flowers can eat them up as well and then they're gone forever so make sure wherever it drops it's on just a nice like flat piece of grass so you actually get the present. And my last tip is to speak to all of the villagers and characters in your game every single day because you can sometimes go into their houses and they will give you a crafting recipe if they're currently crafting something in their house. Sometimes you'll walk past them and they will ping which means they will like say they will shout like your name and try to get your attention and sometimes this could be they give you a what's it called a reaction an emoticon whatever it is so you can then learn a new one of those yeah sometimes they'll give you gifts sometimes you can just build your relationship by talking to them it's a good idea to always go check in the shops if there's anything new available that day and to check with tom nook because he's the obviously the, the manager of the island so sometimes he's gonna have new things for you to do he might have a new crafting workshop or that will be how you know when you could get new villagers in you can upgrade your house with him so make sure if you're feeling lost in your game you're constantly talking to the villagers the tom nook going to the shop so that you can keep progressing your game and that's all the tips i have for you today if you like this video let me know by giving it a thumbs up leave a comment down below if you guys have any other tips that you want to share i will see you guys very soon with another animal crossing video keep creating and sharing your passion oh, i love this game thank you bye